I'm Cheryl Crow. Yes, and I, you are. That's, that's me. That's me. There's no getting around it. Students at Woodrow Wilson High School could barely contain their excitement when nine-time Grammy winner Cheryl Crow arrived, along with the first black woman to travel in space. I saw Dr. Mae Jameson in, like, history books and on posters in elementary school, so it was kind of unreal and a surreal feeling. Dr. Jameson had them mesmerized from word one as she talked about dreaming to be an astronaut as a child. I used to lay outside on a summer's night, and I would stare up at the stars with all my imagination intensity, and I always assumed that I would go into outer space. And after medical school, private practice, and a stint at teaching, in 1992, she flew on the space shuttle Endeavor. I took her word to heart. Which is exactly what First Lady Michelle Obama hoped to accomplish with these visits, inspire students to follow their dreams. Can I get one more for my friend Lauren? Sure. Crow says she realized at age four she could play piano by ear. She crashed an audition to be Michael Jackson's backup singer. Bo guarded her way into a record deal of her own, and the rest is history. You can do anything that you can dream of, um, but the main thing is to go for it. A message that struck a chord with these students. It just really allowed people to know that like, you can follow your dreams. L -I -N Audrey Barnes, 9 News Now and WUSA9.com.